Okay, today I figured I might start a little tutorial about a small issue um, that you may have when you encounter your AVI files. So, um, sometimes when you open an AVI file, it does something like this. While you can still build an index in play, optimally you don't want to see this uh, broken or missing API index. And there is a good way to fix this. Um, the one way you kind of don't want to do is you don't want to just uh, dump it in Movie Maker and then re-upload it to MP3. That's going to be lossy. And I have a way to do it that will give um, much better results. What you're going to need um, to get started is you're going to need to download a program. Um, that program, let me see if I can find it. Okay, it's called FFMPEG. So you can Google it like I did. You go here and you're going to want to start to download it and find your platform on Windows. So you would click, go there, click Windows. And um, at this point, you can download a 32 or 64 bit. Um, and if you are confused, like it tells you right here, just download this one right here, which I've already downloaded one, but I'll, so I'll just go ahead and, uh, open the one that I previously had, close that. You go in here, use 7-zip or whatever, uh, file extractor you have, and, um, where it says bin right here. You need these at a specific area of your computer. You need to get to your C drive. Then you need to go to Windows, System32, and I've already copy and pasted, but if you haven't already, you wanna do this and then drag it over and get them in there. This will enable some command uh, prompt functions. After you do this, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Use a little bit of a guide to assist me here. We're gonna get to, uh, get the fixing started. So let's go ahead and uh. So this is right here is the command I'm gonna use. So a command prompt. I'm sure you already know what it is. So run as administrator, of course. And right now I'm a C drive. Um. In order to reach my file, I'm in my uh, H drive, so I gotta change drives, and it's as simple as doing this. And then to get to my uh, file, uh, louder is the one that's not working. A quick way to get you there is to copy and paste, change directory. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm doing it right, so this could be embarrassing. Okay, it worked. So it's CD, that's right. And I'm now at this folder. The one in question is this one. So I'll just go ahead and I'll copy and paste this. And it's not named bad AVI, but this is just a template. The name is louder. And uh, and uh, let's make the name a little more memorable. And let's call it <laughs> God. <laughs> Good, louder, louder. And if I press Enter, oh, apparently I copied and replaced it as well. <laughs> It's all right. The whole thing never worked in the first place. Um, that should essentially have fixed it without causing it to um, have any loss to it, essentially. Let's go ahead and run it now. So this one, bad. This one, aha. No complaints. And if we took a look at the properties, 5.6 MB, 
5.62 MB. So the com so it didn't, you know, compress it or anything like that. And yeah, that's how you do it.